Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the best brokerages to use for trading stocks if you're particularly interested in OTC stocks like I am. And for those of you who do not know the difference between OTC stocks and listed stocks, definitely go watch my free stock trading course. It will be linked, the playlist is linked at the end of this video in that little, uh, in that card at the end of this video. So please go watch that. But essentially OTC stocks are the stocks that aren't listed on the major exchanges. And because of that, they can be a little more difficult to find great brokerages to trade them on. So because of that, I wanted to talk about what brokerages I personally use and have used and uh, would say you guys should look into if you want to uh, be trading these types of stocks. And I've used pretty much every single one of these brokerages that I'm talking about. So uh, I think I have the experience to weigh in on these issues. Um, and I, I haven't seen any videos that talk about all this stuff. So hopefully you guys find this stuff interesting and helpful. If you do, please subscribe if you're not already and uh, smash the like button on this video because it really helps out the channel. So I'm going to dive into my computer so I can show you guys, I guess, some pictures and, you know, make this a little more visual. And uh, yeah, I'm going to explain what brokerage you should be looking into using. All right, guys, so I'm here at my laptop and I have the website of the four brokerages that I would say are probably the best ones for trading OTCs. I have them all pulled up so you guys can, uh, can reference them and I can, I guess, show you and tell you what they are all about. So the reason I have these four pulled up is they are kind of the four biggest brokerages that have all switched over to the zero commission, uh, I guess, way of doing things, at least for NASDAQs, if that makes sense. And, uh, there's a lot of other brokerages out there, so it probably is a little confusing if you're trying to choose who you should go with, but I would say it's probably best to choose between one of these four brokerages because all the other brokerages uh, have significantly more fees. And again, there's there's a ton of other brokerages out there. Um, you know, there's uh, Interactive Brokers, there's Cobra, there's Centerpoint, there's Lightspeed, there's SureTrader. Uh, those are just to name a few of the other brokerages. But for me, I would say it's probably best to choose between one of these four. TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and E-Trade. And uh, let me just kind of go in order and explain some of the pros and some of the cons of uh, each of these, I guess, each of these platforms. So uh, let me start with TD Ameritrade. So this is one that I have an account at. And uh, the main reason that I have an account at TD Ameritrade is actually not to trade OTC stocks because uh, I am not a huge fan of their inability or their refusal to negotiate on their commissions on OTCs. So depending on how you trade, uh, your commissions can add up a lot, especially if you have a small account. It can make a really, really big difference because again, if you're taking small positions when you're starting out, which I recommend, if you're taking small positions, say a $100 position, they have a $6.95 commission for every time you buy an OTC stock and every time you sell an OTC stock. So let's say you buy $100 worth of a penny stock and uh, maybe maybe it's uh, 10,000 shares of a, uh, what is that, a, a one cent stock? Let's call it that. I think the math is right on that. If not, forgive me. Uh, mental math is not my strong suit. But say you put $100 in, right? $6.95 for the commission on both sides. So that's pretty much $14. So you pretty much lost 14% of your money as soon as you buy in. So for that reason, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of trading on TD Ameritrade, especially if you are a beginner. Now, if you have a much larger account, you know, you've got a $50,000 account, $100,000 account, and you're making $10,000 trades, well, 14, you know, dollars out of, out of a $10,000, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. If you're going over and over and over like I do, it still does add up. So definitely don't discount this, but it's less of a factor if you have a bigger account. But if you have a small account, you definitely want to avoid paying a ton of commissions because it's gonna just destroy your profits. Now, the one thing that I do like TD Ameritrade for is the fact that in their platform, which is called Thinkorswim, this is what you download, that's what this, uh, it's lady, beautiful. Mm, she's looking real cute. That's where she's on. She's on Thinkorswim. And uh, this has free level two. So sometimes you may have to deposit $500, uh, but they have level two for OTCs, which is something that a lot of these other platforms do not have. So keep that in mind, guys. So that is the main thing that I, that I would use from TD Ameritrade. It's still helpful to have account, an account because I really like the Thinkorswim platform. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of the commission. So for that reason, I personally do not trade on TD Ameritrade. Now, the next thing that I like to use is uh, Fidelity. And Fidelity is absolutely great because they have no commission whatsoever on OTC stocks, which means if you buy and sell, uh, you know, 100 times in a day, let's say total, that's what, 100, 100 times uh, 695, 
That's almost 700 bucks you save by being on Fidelity. And you might think, man, 100 times in a day, that's a lot. I literally trade multiple hundreds of times per day and uh, it really adds up. So me paying 695 per trade will cost me thousands of dollars a day. That is not an exaggeration. So obviously you won't make as many trades as me, but uh, this is still something to keep in mind. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Fidelity for going long. And uh, something else that I really like about them is that they let you use margin on your OTC. Now, this might not make sense to you if you are new to this world, but essentially what this means is if you are over the $25,000 limit for the PDT rule, again, if you don't know what this means, go watch my video on that, but if you're over that limit, you can have a margin account and make as many day trades as you want. And having the ability to use margin means that you can use that money over and over and over. So in a $25,000 account in one day, I can trade a million dollars worth of OTC stock, no issue. And you can imagine if I can make just 0.1% on a million dollars, that really, really adds up. Versus if I only have $25,000 worth of buying power, if I buy that $25,000 and sell it, and then I can't buy more for the rest of the day, you know, it's a little bit harder to make big gains on an account, which is why I'm a fan of using margin. Now, I'm not a fan of using leverage. I'm not saying if you have a $25,000 account, you should go in with a $50,000 position at once. That's not what I'm saying, but it's, it's the ability to use your money over and over again that's very, very helpful. So I'm a big fan of Fidelity for that reason. Now, the one thing, I guess the two things that Fidelity is missing is the fact that Fidelity does not let you trade any OTC that has a stop sign on otcmarkets.com, which is really, really frustrating because this means if it's not pink current, if the financials are not updated for the company, then you're not gonna be able to trade it. And there are so, so many companies that are running huge where there's a ton of opportunity that I make thousands of dollars on that a lot of people who are just on Fidelity, they're not allowed to trade. So it's, it's a little bit frustrating and you win some, you lose some. So you don't pay commissions, but at the same time, you're not allowed to trade those stop sign companies. And a lot of those are the ones that are running a ton. So you got to keep that in mind and weigh these things. And also, Fidelity has pretty terrible locates uh, if you want to short OTC. So there's a lot of OTC stocks that I like shorting because, you know, I like going long when there's an opportunity on the long side. And I like shorting when there's an opportunity on the downside. And uh, Fidelity doesn't really have that great locates. So you got to keep that in mind. So, uh... I use Fidelity for a long time, but uh, I'm not currently using them because they banned me for life. But I would still use them for, uh, I would say, going long on stocks that are not stop sign stocks. That is what they're great for. All right, so moving on, Charles Schwab. This is, uh, this is a great brokerage and they would be pretty much perfect except for one thing. So what Schwab is great for is, again, just like Fidelity, they have zero commissions on OTCs, zero commissions which is absolutely incredible, which means that if you have a small account, I think Schwab is a great option, especially if you're under $25,000. Schwab is probably the brokerage for you because not only, again, do they, do they allow you to trade any of those stop sign stocks, but they're also zero commission and they also have really good locates on shorts. Now, if you're under 25,000, you should probably be in a cash account so you don't fall subject to the PDT rule, which means you're not gonna be able to short. But if you're over 25,000, you're going to be able to short. And Schwab has the best short locates uh, of all these for OTCs. So between these four brokerages, Schwab has by far the best locates for shorting OTCs. And uh, I've made a lot of money shorting OTCs within my Schwab account. So the fact that, uh, that Schwab does that is great. So I would say the pros of Schwab are they have great locates, they allow you to trade stop sign tickers and they, uh, they have zero commissions on OTCs. So they would be the perfect brokerage except for this one thing. They do not let you use margin on OTC stocks. So that's kind of what I just talked about for Fidelity. But Schwab, if you have $25,000 and you're over the PDT limit and you have a margin account, it does not matter. If you buy an OTC stock, they will only let you use your settled cash. So if you buy... $25,000 worth of a OTC stock and sell it, you will not be able to buy again and sell again, buy again, sell again. You'll have to wait for that money to settle, which means your buying power is extremely limited. It's extremely limited. So again, you would go from trading a million dollars worth of stock on a $25,000 account to now trading, okay, $25,000 on a $25,000 account, which really limits you from the long side. And what's really stupid is that you can short unlimited. So I could short a million dollars worth of OTC stocks in Schwab, per day on a $25,000 account, as long as it's not all at once, but I would not be able to go long more than 25,000. So that, that, that's the one thing about Schwab that really, really frustrates me, but it is what it is. And again, guys, there's, there's pros and cons to each of these brokerages. Now the last one, and this is where I currently have my account for going long, 
is the uh, the fact that uh, I guess E Trade does allow you to use margin, and they do negotiate on commissions, and they do allow you to trade stop sign stocks. So just to review. TD Ameritrade does not negotiate at all on commissions, but they do let you use margin and they do let you trade uh, stop sign stocks. So E-Trade, it's pretty much the same thing, except they do negotiate on their rates. And I was able to get my rate down a lot on OTC stocks. So automatically, it starts off at $6.95, which is the same as TD Ameritrade. But if you make more than 30 trades per quarter, they will automatically lower it down from $6.95 down to $4.95 which is absolutely great. So it automatically already lowers. But then if you have a large account and you make a lot of trades, you can actually get that significantly lower than even 495. So I'm not gonna say on here what I got from E-Trade, but I got it pretty low. If you're in my Discord channel, you already know what I got. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool that they're willing to negotiate and I really, really appreciate this about E-Trade. So for that reason, they are honestly one of my favorite brokerages now because of that. And uh, again, they allow you to go long on all these stop sign tickers. They allow you to use margin on, uh, on going long. Again, I don't think their short locates are super, super great, but for me, this would be my number one option for going long on OTC stocks if I am over the $25,000 PDT rule. So that's pretty much it. I think also, I think that they have, uh, I think they have level two for OTCs. I believe E-Trade does have that. And uh, Schwab, they kind of have it, but they don't really have it. And Fidelity does not have it at all. So uh, TD Ameritrade definitely has the best level two, I would say. I haven't, again, I haven't uh, dipped my toes in the level two for E-Trade because I, I actually use an outside service for level two for OTCs um, or sometimes, again, I use I use TD Ameritrade. So I haven't checked if E-Trade has that, but uh, that's, that's basically just the summary, guys. So again, just to give you a quick, quick highlight, TD Ameritrade does not negotiate on commissions, but you can trade OTC stop sign tickers and you can trade with margin. Fidelity, they have zero commissions on OTCs, but you cannot trade stop sign tickers and uh, you can use margin. So can use margin, no stop sign tickers, and uh, zero commissions, not super great short locates. Schwab, the perfect brokerage, except for the fact that you cannot use, uh, you cannot use margin on your OTCs, and also their, uh, their level two is not super great. And then E-Trade is great because they negotiate on uh, commissions and everything. You can use margin, you can trade, stop sign tickers, but they, uh, you know, they don't have super great short locates. So that's the summary of these four ones, guys. Again, uh, if you're under 25K, I would say Schwab is absolutely the move. If you're over, I would probably consider uh, choosing between these. You know, if, you, if you're over by a lot, you can have multiple $25,000 accounts. Uh, you know, maybe try to put some in each of these and uh, maybe have some money in here for, uh, for trading and, and getting that level two. So that is uh, what I would do personally. And hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, guys, if you're new to, to trading and OTCs, definitely give it my channel a subscribe because I, I make videos about this stuff pretty much every single day. And I think you would find it really helpful. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, you know the drill. Let's grow better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. ¿Por qué? No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.